Valentine gets a new partnership while SoFi stock heats up before the Instacart IPO. Hey there and welcome back to another thrilling episode of your YouTube channel. Today, we've got a double dose of excitement coming your way. First up, we're diving into the world of tech partnerships as we unpack the article titled Balanter Technology Signs Partnership with Titan Defense Firm, Babcock. But that's not all. We've got some news on the stock market as we discuss Instacart is going public, why that means you should buy SoFi stock, and SoFi stock alert. The Instacart IPO could be make or break for SoFi. So whether you're a Palantir enthusiast, a SoFi stockholder, or just someone who loves keeping up with the latest financial happenings, this episode is tailor-made for you. Get ready to explore the exciting world of finance and technology partnerships because today, we're bringing you all the insider insights and analysis you need to stay ahead of the game. So hit the subscribe button, grab a notepad, and let's dive head first into the fascinating stories of Palantir's new partnership and the red-hot SoFi stock in the lead-up to the Instacart IPO. But first, let's kick things off with the incredible Palantir Babcock partnership. You won't want to miss this, folks, so stay tuned. Palantir Technologies signs partnership with the Titan defense firm Babcock. So here's the scoop. Ballantyre Technologies Incorporated is teaming up with the Babcock International Group to turbocharge its digital defense capabilities. They're shaking hands on an enterprise agreement, and it's got the potential to transform how Babcock handles data and decision-making. Now, what's really cool is that they'll be harnessing the power of Palantir AIP, which is Palantir's AI-enabled software. This is no ordinary software. It's designed from the ground up with AI at its core. It's all about processing data, making decisions, and aiding humans in making the best calls possible. Babcock aims to use Palantir AIP to capture, integrate, model, and build data-driven solutions. This isn't just about making things run smoother. It's about making super-informed decisions, maximizing platform availability on customer assets, and squeezing even more value from their data. According to Guy Williams, head of UK Defense and National Security at Palantir Technologies, this partnership is all about driving a new era for the UK's defense enterprise. It's about pioneering, modernizing, and making the most of Palantir AIP. By consolidating data streams into one place, whether that's supply chains, asset management, or analytics, Babcock is set to gain clearer insights into their operations, sustainability impact, and carbon footprint. They'll also be able to work more closely with their customers and enhance their critical defense missions. But it doesn't stop there. This partnership will provide a single source of truth across Babcock's multi-domain operating environments and defense supply chain. And hey, here's the cool part. Employees will be able to tap into cutting-edge AI and large language models or LLMs to evaluate and execute actions. So it's not just about data, it's about leveraging technology for maximum impact. From improving fleet availability to real-time identification of issues throughout the life cycle of military equipment, this partnership is all about optimizing performance and mitigating risks for the British Army. It's about realizing value for defense across equipment support, training contracts, shipbuilding, and more. And here's the kicker. This is Palantir's first partnership with a firm in the UK's defense industrial base. They've been collaborating with the UK MOD for over a decade, and this marks a significant step forward. Instacart is going public. Why that means you should buy SoFi stock. Next up, we've got a captivating article to discuss that might just make you rethink your investment strategy. It's all about SoFi technologies and why you should consider adding it to your portfolio. Now, I get it. Investing in a growth stock can sometimes feel like taking a leap of faith. But here's the thing. 
Not all growth stocks are created equally. Some come with substantial risks, while others show plenty of promising signs that could inspire confidence. SoFi Technologies made quite a splash when it went public back in 2020. At the time, it seemed like just another digital bank among the masses. Profitability was a distant dream and it didn't stand out from the crowd. But fast forward to today, and things have changed. Over the past three years, SoFi has transformed itself into something more remarkable. It's not just bigger, it's better, leaner, and closer to profitability. And guess what? The stock price is currently 65% below its 2021 peak, which might just be an opportunity in disguise. So what's SoFi's game plan for the future? Well, it started as a student loan cooperative and then ventured into refinancing government and private student loans. But it didn't stop there. It expanded into a full-fledged financial services app offering everything from bank accounts with high interest rates to low-fee financial products. In 2019, SoFi launched SoFi Invest, a no-fee, fully digital experience tailored to the smartphone generation. And recently, it has been making waves by participating in high-profile IPOs for companies like NU Holdings and Rivian Automotive. It's all about giving retail customers the opportunity to buy in at IPO prices. And now, it's diving headfirst into the underwriting the forthcoming Instacart IPO. The man behind SoFi's strategic moves is CEO Anthony Noto, who brings a wealth of experience from his investment banking days at Goldman Sachs. With his expertise, he's steering the company into familiar waters, making these new ventures feel less like uncharted territory and more like well-calculated steps. Now, of course, venturing into investment banking is not without risks. SoFi's core mission revolves around offering consumer-centric digital financial services. While diversification has been a winning strategy, the investment banking realm is new turf. But the goal here is to democratize the system, making it more accessible to everyday investors rather than just high net worth individuals and institutions. So what does all this mean for SoFi stock? Well, there's reason to believe that SoFi can successfully integrate these new ventures into its financial app for individual customers without diluting its core mission. In fact, it could lead to even more growth. Sure, SoFi stock has had a wild ride this year, up by 90%, but it's fallen by 24% since the end of July, making it an intriguing opportunity. Shares are trading at a price-to-sales ratio of 4.4, which looks quite enticing for a stock with such incredible potential. SoFi Stock Alert The Instacart IPO could be make or break for SoFi. Instacart IPO a game changer for SoFi. According to Bloomberg, SoFi is gearing up for one of its most significant challenges yet. They're one of the 20 banks underwriting the Instacart IPO, which could raise a jaw dropping $616 million. Now, this is a big deal for SoFi because it marks their first foray into traditional IPO underwriting. Getting this process right could mean two crucial things for SoFi big, fat fees, and a shiny boost to their reputation. And as we know, in the world of finance, reputation is everything. To put it into context, SoFi has come a long way since its inception. They've built a robust ecosystem, offering online loans to college students and personal loans to individuals. But they didn't stop there. They've also helped launch five Special Purpose Acquisition Companies, or SPACs, diving headfirst into the world of bank check firms and mergers. Now, with the prospect of more IPOs on the horizon, SoFi sees a chance to flex its financial muscles and expand its ambitions. But let's not kid ourselves. This won't be a walk in the park for SoFi or SoFi stock. While there's a generally optimistic sentiment on Wall Street regarding SoFi stock in relation to the Instacart IPO, it's not a done deal just yet. 
SoFi is playing a secondary role to the lead underwriters of the IPO, which means they won't be in the driver's seat. There's also the question of how SoFi secured this role. As Morningstar analyst Michael Miller puts it, it could just be a question of what SoFi offered to take part in the deal, so it's not a guarantee of success. Now, here's where the baptism of fire comes in for SoFi stock. According to Reuters, underwriters in traditional IPOs buy big chunks of an issuing company's new shares, risking losses if they can't resell the stock for more than they paid. In translation, it's not a free ride for SoFi. They've got some skin in the game and it comes with its share of risks. So what's the bottom line for investors? Keep an eye on options flow data, especially big block trades made by institutions. And speaking of analysts, they're divided on SoFi stock with a consensus hold rating. Some say buy, some say hold, and some say sell. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. In the world of finance, every move matters and the Instacart IPO could be a turning point for SoFi. Whether it's a make or break moment remains to be seen but it's certainly one to watch closely. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you for joining us in this video, and we hope to see you in the next one. Happy investing!